uh, lab 06 we are going to install the Greenbow GVM first follow these uh, steps uh, open a terminal window because it will take some time I want the program to notice to notify me about its completion so we we can use beep frequency 500 and repeat uh, four times you will see uh, some sounds popped up but here it says could not open any device I think I need to uh, install the device Okay, now it uh, looks good. Follow these steps. First, install the PostgreSQL database. Okay, I have some problems here. Can you sudo apt update first and upgrade? Okay, the update is complete. Now we need to uh, fix fix missing. Fix the installation of the database. You can also open the Firefox. Here, pay attention to the output, the installation success. You can now start the database server using this command. Here, we need a sudo for this command. Or we can use this syntax. sudo system control start this uh, service, database service. Then we check its status. Uh, you see uh, it's active and running, so the database is running now. Type Q, quit. Now we are going to install Greenbone GVM. The Greenbone GVM. First we need to add this uh, PBA. Press enter to continue. Now we can install this GVM. The most timing consuming part is these three updates. Update the MVT, the scap data, the third data. Once it's done, then we can access this Greenbow GVM. 
in a browser. Uh, please pay attention to this part. This Greenbone vulnerability scanner requires a Redis database to store data. It will connect the database with a Unix so socket at this location. So if you agree, the installation process will enable Redis Unix, Unix socket at this address automatically. So we choose uh, this uh, yes. Press enter. Here, the config the GVMDPG package must have a database installed and configured before it can be used. This can be optionally handled with this uh, command dbconfig comma. So we would like to choose the easy way. Here we choose the easier way. Configure the database with this one. Otherwise, if you are uh, an advanced database administrator and know that you want to perform this configuration manually or if your database has already been installed and configured then you need to choose this node refuse this option because we just install it uh, freshly so we choose this yes press enter here choose localhost you press your tab key jump to this ok and press enter now type a password, you can let it uh, generate the password uh, randomly or type a password by yourself. Here I would like to uh, let it generate uh, randomly. Use your tab key, jump to this OK, press under. And you can see the database that created uh, successfully. Right, we'll see these four successes. Database exists, success. User create success. And right, now it's done. Now the time consuming part is these three updates. So for these three updates, I would like to uh, Add a notification with this beep. Repeat ten times. And now it will take time to install these updates. Uh, and now I need to update the cert date, certification date. This is the last update. The three update take lots of time. You see it take me almost one hour. Okay, we will start up to let you see what it looks like. The installation is completed, so we accessed from this uh, Open in a uh, new tab. Here it says 
putting a security risk ahead is okay because we know we installed this one. Click advance. Choose uh, accept the risk and continue. Greenbone Security Assistant. Here the login. The default account is admin. Admin. The username is admin. The password is also admin. So this is the OpenVS or GBM, Greenbone GBM, it looks like. And we will practice this uh, Thursday. You can see the user and change your settings, log out, and so on. This is help from the user manual, CVSS calculator. In one of our lab, I think it's lab 02, we Calculate CVSS manually. Here you can use this calculator to do it automatically. Administration, users, groups, roles, permissions, trash can, and so you can uh, set up this stuff. Follow its uh, user manual, the configuration. Here the targets, port list, credentials, scan configuration, and so on. SEC info here. The updates NVTCV is take lots of time, right? Oh, the machine is quite slow. Remediation tickets, compliance policies, compliance audits. As we just discussed, uh, these things, right? Remediation. Audit, so you can see this uh, environment. Integrate all these things. Assets, host operating systems, TLS certificates, and a scan. Now you can scan, set up scan, and do the scan automatically. You have set up the task, get the reports, results, find the vulnerabilities. It will start from this uh, dashboard. Here, this is the dashboard. So, if your computer has a uh, lot of RAM, I suggest you increase your the RAM or your washing machine to four gigabyte. Currently, I allocated only two gigabyte to my washing machine. And you see, this uh, is quite slow. I try to move this one. It does not respond. I try to scroll it down. Here in this uh, home page, the dashboard, you can see these things tasks by severity class, tasks by status, CVEs by creation time. These are the re recorded CVEs when I update, they are all saved in the database. Right, you can see these CVEs. And on the right side, NVTs by the security class. You can see the score, the high is from 7.0 to 10.0. The high score vulnerability. Okay, and we will practice this one. This is Thursday. And you see the installation takes lots of time, so please uh, install it before the start of Thursday's lab. 
and uh, we'll add a few steps here. Add a step, update first. Update the system first, then you go through this one. It should run smoothly.